Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do for the Redmi Note 13. And the first thing I want to show you is a little sidebar here. Here at the side you can easily swipe it in and you're having now quick access here to your favorite apps. What is pretty, pretty nice. But don't wonder if you haven't this icon here actually because you have to enable this feature first. For that, let's go on the settings. So just scroll down then here to the point additional settings. Now we will need to point floating windows. And now we will need the first point here, sidebar. Okay. Turn it on uh, as you know, at the, this point you always shown. Uh, so that's marked blue, like in my case. And then you will have here this little sidebar icon. Just swipe it out and you have now quick access to your favorite apps. That you can also change the position here of this little sidebar icon. So for that, just long press it. And I can choose another position here. And you can even put it on the other side. Because if you're right-handed, it, it is a better position. Just leave your finger and now it is here. Pretty, pretty nice. And what is awesome, if it's on that side, you can easily swipe it in with a thumb and you're having now quick access here to your favorite apps, uh, even if you're on another app, uh, pretty nice. By the way, if you open now one of these apps here, then it's opened in a floating window. Uh, and if it's the step you like that, you can put it also in another position here on the three points. Uh, just hold it and put it on another position. You can even make it bigger here with a little bar. Uh, and uh, if you want to close it later, just tap on the three points, go on the X, and it has disappeared. The next thing I want to show you is about the navigation bar. Now we will have here the recent open tab button, we will have the back button, we will have the home button here. Uh, but you can add some more features to these buttons. Let me show you what I mean. For that, let's go as well to the settings. Now let's check on the point home screen. And you will have the point mm -hmm, system navigation. So, and if we are having the buttons, you will have here the point button shortcuts. And now you can set up some more options here for the back button and the recent tab button and so on. For the home button, we have already an action. If you long press the home button, then we have launched the Google Assistant. No? So, what's the weather and so on. No? And, upsala. And you can add also some other stuff. Maybe if you long press the back button, you can maybe turn on the torch. No, oh, that's nice. And that means if you long press now the back button, you turn on the torch. No, if you long press it again, the torch will turn off. No? But the back button is still there. If you just tap it, you go back one step and so on. No? So pretty, pretty nice. You can do it for all these buttons here. And yeah, the next feature I want to show you is for our eyes because we are all looking too often on our smartphone screen and this is giving our eyes a lot of stress. But there's a way to reduce this eye strain. Let me show you how you can do that. For that, just uh, go here to the settings. Then you need to go to the point display. Here it is, display and brightness. And now look for the point reading mode. Okay. If we turn on this reading mode, we will have now two options, the cycle one uh, or the classic one. The cycle one is uh, good if you don't want to change uh, things too often and so on. Um, it is enabling the blue light filter, but in a light version. Uh? But if you want to squeeze out the maximum for the blue light filter, or if you want to do the best for your eyes, just switch here to the classic mode, uh, because then you will see the screen is having now a yellow touch. Now, this is a, um, a better blue light filter. If you tap on the arrow here, you can even optimize it. You can increase the color temperature because as more warm the color temperature is, as better it is for your eyes. And this will reduce much distress for your eyes. And by the way, this blue light filter will affect also your sleep. Huh? So you will sleep much better if you're using it. No? So I really recommend to have it at latest in the evening or at night. And if you don't want to have it over the day, if you just want to have it in the night, then uh, yeah, just go back here because you can chat show it here automatically. Huh? So, um, and I would recommend to you to take here the good night suite because uh, it detects automatically when the sun sets and if the, when the sun rises. Huh? So just tap you on the settings to um, turn on here to use location, go back with the arrow, and now the good night reads. It's uh, the good night's read is enabled. So pretty nice. Yeah, and if you want, you can go a bit further because if you are at night or at the evening hours and you're looking to your bright screen, it's also not that comfortable for your eyes. And for that, you can enable a dark mode. Let me show you how you can do that. 
Let's go back first to the display settings here. And on top of it, we will have the choice between the light mode and the dark mode. Now the light mode is the basic one we already know now, but if we switch now to the dark mode, everything is dark now in the background and it's much more comfortable for your eyes. But the contrast of the dark mode is not that comfortable on the daytime. So you should have it only in the evening hours or at night and that you don't have to switch it on and off always by your own. You can schedule it. For that, just go on the dark mode options and go on the first point here, switch to dark mode, turn it on. And now you can uh, set up the first point here, sunset to sunrise. That means if the sun sets, the dark mode will turn on. And if the sun rises, the dark mode will turn off. The next thing I want to show you is uh, also for our eyes. And it's pretty easy, but very effective. Because the screen is large enough and hey, why not increasing the text size? Huh? Let me show you how you can do that. For that, just go on the settings. Check out now the point again, display and brightness. And if you go a bit below, you will find the point font settings. Okay, and here you can increase the text size. I've done it already that you can follow my video better. And I recommend to you to go at maximum at L because if you increase it too much to XXL, and yeah, that affects the notifications in a bad way because they are too large now and you can't really read the previews here of your notifications. So just turn it at maximum to the L size. It is large enough. And yeah, that's it. So pretty nice. The next feature I want to show you is for our environment because uh, every day there's a time we don't need our smartphone when we are sleeping. And uh, why not turning off the phone automatically then? Let me show you how you can do that. For that, just tap you on the settings. Then let's go down to the point battery. And now go to additional features. And now we will need the last point here, chat should power on off. And you can set up the power on time. No? So when you want to have it turned off and also the repeating times. No? If you want to have it every day or if you just want to have it weekdays. No? And also the power off time. No? Same here with the repeating time if you want to have every day and so on. So pretty, pretty nice. And this is saving energy. And yeah, the planet will say thank you. The next feature I want to show you is for your mental health. So that you can have a bit me time. Maybe you want to watch a YouTube video or a video on Netflix or something like this and uh, someone is calling you. You always receive the notifications or someone is messaging you. You always receive the notifications during the video. Huh? And if you don't want to have it at this moment, you can enable a nice feature, a do not disturb mode. Let me show you a bit more about. For that, just tap you on the settings. Then let's go now to the point sound and vibration. And if you scroll down a bit, you will find the point do not disturb. Okay, I've turned it on here. No? That means uh, that I receive no notifications at the moment and uh, no incoming calls. The calls will come in, no? but I can just see it if we're going to the calling app no? as well with WhatsApp and so on. I just need to enter WhatsApp and then I see it, but I receive no notifications about new messages and so on. Okay, um, I can, next to the do not disturb mode, I can uh, give exceptions. No? Uh, what about the calls? Maybe there's an emergency or something like this, or I want to have uh, incoming calls from important persons. No? Um, for that, you can give exceptions. No? If you do only your contacts are uh, able to call you or may your start contacts, so your favorite contacts. No? So you can give your exception and you can give a notification for repeated calls. Now, if someone is calling twice within 50 minutes, you will receive also a notification about this call. Huh? But overall, this will give you more peace here, this do not disturb mode. And uh, that you don't have to turn it on and off by your own. You can chat you also here sometimes. No? Um, may uh, the evening uh, hours or uh, if you're at work. Huh? So you can give you your rules and this is Pretty, pretty nice. And by the way, if you want to enable it by your own, you don't have to go always deep to the settings. So just scroll down your right next to the camera and then you have your also the moon symbol. This is the do not disturb mode. So you can easily enable when you need it. The next feature I want to show you is uh, to make your phone a bit faster because if you have opened many apps at the same time, uh, the speed of the phone is getting a bit slower. But let me show you how you can increase it a bit. For that, just tap you on the settings and scroll down to the point additional settings 
Let's go now to the point memory extension. So this is the one here. Now actually we have uh, two gigs of extra one here and I would recommend to you to take the maximum of six gigabytes. So this is uh, taken from your internal storage. Uh, so but there's a lot of uh, storage here so you can take these uh, uh, extra four gigs here. And what you need to do is just to reboot the phone. And that means if it reboots, you are having now six extra one from the ROM, so the internal storage. Okay, the phone has rebooted already and we are at the end of the video. And here I want to show you two nice gestures for your phone. And the first one is to quick launch the camera because maybe there's a nice scene and you need to look first for your camera app and so on and this is taking time. And why not just double pressing the power button and you are immediately at the camera without missing time and so on. Uh, let me show you how you can enable this feature. For that, just go to the settings then go down to the point additional settings check out here the gesture shortcuts and you need to enable the point launch camera and here you need to enable the first point now double press the power button now so that it's marked blue here uh, means whenever you double press the power button you're immediately at the camera and hey may this save you a great picture one day the other gesture I want to show you is also pretty nice uh, because if you're using your phone with one hand, you cannot reach everything, especially here at the top of the screen. And uh, for that, there's a nice uh, gesture. You can easily swipe here on the navigation bar from the inside to the outside, just like that. And the upper screen is going a bit lower and now you can reach everything here with one hand. If you want to go back, just tap you on the outside and you're back in a regular mode. That you need to enable this feature first and for that, just go into settings. Then you need to check out again the additional settings and go on one-handed mode. And this has to be turned on, so marked blue, like in my case. And then you can swipe from the inside to the outside or as well to the other side. And the upper screen is then a bit lower. And then now you can reach everything here. And if you want to go back, just tap here on top and you're back at a regular mode. I hope I could help you with this video and answer your questions and show you something nice and a good tutorial here for your setup. And yeah, if you want, you can leave a nice comment or give me a thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. So thank you so, so much for, and I've created also some other videos if you're interested in with some more tips and tricks and so on. You can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for your support and yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.